Well, good morning, morning Crocodile Rachel. Good morning. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just reviewing the Keto Crate video before we release it, just in case there's any editing problems. I don't think there was any edits in there, especially nothing bad. What's good. with the Crocodile Rachel outfit? It's called I Haven't Brushed My Hair Yet, <laughs> and I don't want anybody to see this. What's, on, what's going on underneath here? I am going crazy in the house. I've got to get out of the house. So I'm going to go drop off invoices at customers' houses. Do you want to go? Yeah, I actually have to go to the post office and okay. FedEx. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, let's right after this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it i cannot stop laughing at your hat it's bad it you looks look like you're going out to the really? outback to hunt kangaroos good eye mites i would love some kangaroo meat that would be good we should get some kangaroo meat somewhere that's not a knife this is a knife <clears throat> it is saturday um we're going a little bat crazy obviously i mean this is kind of Rachel, but it's Rachel's getting like crazier and crazier and sillier and sillier. I don't know if that's possible, but it's definitely happening. She's getting, we had an Easter egg hunt for three 19 year olds yesterday. It was awesome. It was awesome. And the funny part was they were more excited about it than I think the average six year old. Well, I think that you feel like you should be cool with it. You know, right. like you know, the best way to handle this is just to be completely cool with being stuck inside with your family for hours upon hours. But just because they're not toddlers doesn't mean it isn't difficult to be trapped inside of the house with your parents and your kids. Right. So, yeah, they had a lot of fun with it. They did Easter egg decorating, and then they were fighting over who was the best, that we had to start texting pictures of the Easter eggs to family members to be like, you guys need to decide because they're fighting over who has the best eggs. But I totally <laughs> suggest that everybody does that. It was fun. It Why was, not it have was definitely a lot of fun. an online Easter egg you know, decoration competition. We all have eggs, right? Like eggs is a priority. That's kind of cool. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want us to vote on them, tag us. We'll vote on them. So like I said, it's Saturday. We're going out. We have a whole bunch of shipping a lot that of needs shipping. to be dropped off at the post office. Then um, I need to go drop off invoices. And we can do that without coming in contact with anybody. Yes. I do have to go to the bird store though because uh, no bird food. There's like one cup left. And when there's no bird food, oh my goodness. Grayson jumps off of his cage. He jumps down off the cage and then chases you around the house until you bring him bird food. Yes. Now, fortunately, African greys can eat pretty much anything with the exception of avocados. Avocados will kill him. Right. Don't get any ideas. No. <laughs> I like Grayson. So. <laughs> he does He does tell on me. He does get on my nerves sometimes, but yeah. So, yeah, I you can it. feed him anything, but he primarily likes seeds. Yes, he, he does. He likes his seeds. He doesn't even like the bird cereal. Like, there's, no. like, bird cereals where it looks like a cereal, but it's, like, all of the vitamins and everything and these, like, pellets. He doesn't like that. He wants seeds and fruits like dried fruits things like that he will let you know if he doesn't like he it throws it everywhere he will throw it he will take his dish and just dump it out like yeah. make good choices mom and dad and he loves chicken wings that's his favorite food yeah favorite that's... food chicken wings so odd oh and he's gotten into rib bones like when i make yes. uh, the beef back ribs and stuff like that he likes to eat the rib but he digs out the marrow with his beak and stuff so i want to keep um making sure that he has all the food he needs because because I feel like he could eat me. Like, he would. <laughs> I'm thinking while we're there, no chickens anywhere. We've looked everywhere online. We're still looking for chickens. But it looks like the earliest we can get chickens is May if we have a mail ordered. 
So I'm thinking, forget the chickens. Let's look at cockatoos. No. Cockatoos. No. Shouldn't I get a cockatoo? No, he Come should on. not. Cockatoo. No. Nope. You want you want something that loves you? Cockatoos will love you. We want something to give us eggs, and we're not going to be eating cockatoo eggs. Yeah, but they make a great pet. Well, we're on a date. <laughs> at the car wash. We're at the car wash, at baby. At the car wash. So we realized after dropping off the shipping, it's only 8.15. And what's going on? Oh, it's all the car washes activating all the safe to move stuff. Right. Like, you're surrounded by things that are moving. You should be worried. <laughs> this is funny, actually. So, yeah, we decided to run through the car wash. got to yell because of the car wash. Uh, so our local car wash is open, but they're not like cleaning the inside. Like no. it's the outside only. And then you actually can like go vacuum it yourself. How do you turn that off? But here's the thing. We have a lot of angry birds that live in our neighborhood. They're angry. Yeah. And they poop on my car a lot. <laughs> a lot. Okay, so we're going to run through the car wash. We're going to go back in the car to kill some time. Then we're going to go get a cockatoo. You're not. So we got over here to the bird store and uh, yeah, I can't get in. Curbside service. Curbside service. I was first pulled up and I was like, oh my gosh, they're closed. What are we going to do? All the shutters are closed. Yeah. And they're like, no, there's a big sign saying like curbside service, which means I can't go in and look at the cockatoos. I'm kind of glad that you can't go in and look at the cockatoos. <laughs> I am glad they're there though. I mean, somebody does have to take care of all those birds because they have some gorgeous, or they have one parrot that's like $15,000. Yeah. That big giant blue macaw. Because that's the gorgeous. thing. I mean, the needs of the animals go on. Yeah. I mean, our our hat, <laughs> our hat is off to all of the people who are tirelessly working at animal shelters and at stores and wildlife preserves that are just taking care of the animals during this time. I mean, yep. They, the show must go on. So we got our bird food. I wanted to stop at Tucker Duke's and get a burger support at like a local restaurant, especially because we have coupons. But I keep getting a message like from the cell phone company saying the number you are calling is busy. It's like not a busy signal. I've never heard a busy signal in years. Do you remember what a busy signal yeah. sounds like? Or the touch tone sounds? Right. <laughs> so, do, do, do. But it got me thinking. Here we go. Top 10 foods that you like to eat on keto. Why did one of those things... Remind you. I was going to get a burger. Oh, okay. So, top 10 things that you like to eat on keto. Okay, so number 10. Number 10. Oh, you're going to go 10 or 1? 10. Number 10. So, number 10, pizza. Pizza. I love fat head dough and the chicken crust pizzas. Okay. Since it was on the way home, we decided to stop at Tucker Duke's and see if they were open. And they are, but only for pickup and delivery. So we ordered some burgers. This way we can support a local business. Well, since we stopped here at Tucker Duke's, that's gonna bring us to the next thing on my list, burgers. burgers. Now this list is actually gonna be in no particular order because I don't know if I could really put in order my favorite keto foods. Though if you really forced me to, burgers are definitely like on the top of the list. We eat burgers probably four to five days a week. Oh, easily, because they're so versatile. What yeah. do you like on top of your burger right now? Because that changes, right? Yeah. Okay, so for me, first of all, every burger's got to have bacon. Got to have bacon on a burger. Uh, some type of cheese, that varies. Sometimes I want cheddar. Sometimes I want uh, Monterey Jack. Sometimes I want blue cheese. Yes. I like provolone. Um, I've gotten into Gouda cheese. Smoked Gouda cheese on a burger is really good. Very Gouda. I also love having an egg, uh, like an over me, an over easy or a sunny side up egg. Even you eat that when I do it because like the it. egg, but the yolk becomes the sauce for the burger. I will eat it, but it's not my favorite. My really? favorite is when it's cooked all the way through. Well, we just ordered you a Mondragon, which comes with an egg on it. I know. <laughs> We're getting the, the burger that they have here. It's called the Mondragon. It's a half pound burger with six slices of center cut bacon. So I don't care what else is on top of that burger. Yeah. And then it comes with an, it's got an egg on it. It's got cheddar cheese on it. 
Uh, we just order it with no bun and they put it on a bed of baby lettuce. And then Rachel gets the way she likes it because the lettuce is on the bottom. So it's all hot and greasy when you're done. I know. And maybe that makes me a total weirdo, but do you like the hot and greasy lettuce soak up thing? Yeah. Let us know down in the comment section what your favorite way to eat a burger is. Also, we should clarify your pizza thing. Mm -hmm. That's keto pizza. Right. <laughs> I don't want someone to say, like, pizza. Pizza's not keto. Well, I said a fat head dough. Yeah, I just want to clarify. For chicken dough. Keto. And our new way to do pizza is take mozzarella cheese, put it on the Blackstone, just, like, brown it up, and then put some tomato sauce and maybe some pepperonis or, like, some sausage, crumbled up sausage Fast on top. Fast pizza. Yeah, because, it, well, this way, when you do it that way, it's better than the fat head because you're not using all the almond flour. We should do a video on that. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. They're starting to put together family meal deals where you can feed four or five people at a time, which is kind of interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Probably can't eat a lot of it, but. Well, I mean, you can do the grilled snapper. Oh, wow. Marinated in lemon and rosemary. Just no butter. rice peel off. Yeah, and it, it includes a salad. Let's take a look at these burgers. We're going to go home and eat it, right? We're not going to eat it in your new car. No, we are not. Oh, yeah, because they're already dripping. Oh, look at that deliciousness with the egg on top, all that bacon. Cannot wait to dig in. Food. Food. We forgot to mention, this is the keto full day of eating video, right? Yes. So I, this is not the first thing I'm having for the day though. I actually started off the day with a coffee with one scoop of salted MCT powder. I got an Easter basket. Rachel got an Easter basket from Anthony. With Zip Fizz. Zip Fizz. And Lily. He's so awesome. Cups. So yeah, so that's what we got here. I've got an egg. It's got a giant burger on the bottom, bacon, cheese, some greens. Rachel's got the same thing. Comes with a little side. Comes a little, so I always tell them to put the sauce on the side. I'm sure there's a little bit of sugar. Sometimes I will just have a little bit of it. Also having a black cherry Zevia. Black cherry Waterloo. I didn't even realize that I grabbed black cherry in both flavors, but I'm trying to use these up. I have like one six pack left because we have so much of the Aldi version of Zevia. I won't have to buy that for a while. Number eight. Hop to it. <laughs> Number eight. Bacon. You better be taking that off of your plate and not my, no, no, sir. Put it Bacon. right back. Bacon is definitely making the top 10 list of our favorite keto foods. Me too. We're going to eat, then we're going in the pool because it's Saturday. Yes. We're eating at home. Why are you using plastic silverware? I feel, I don't know, like it's a out of home experience. I don't like plastic silverware. It feels very takeout. I can't stand plastic silverware. The fork pieces break off in your food. No, these are pretty good. When I use plastic silverware, I only want a spoon. You know, for the amount of bacon you get on this burger, when you figure that the actual price on the burger is 15 bucks, that is not bad at all. Look at the, and you've actually already eaten some bacon, right? Because mm -hmm. Rachel breaks her burger apart and eats everything in pieces, but I, I mean, perfectly well cooked. But look at all of that bacon. It's really, it's perfectly done. The burgers are perfectly done. Tastes really good. Happy customer. The ultimate dilemma. What is your last bite? It's definitely not this. We don't even eat that. And not that it's not keto. I'm not a huge tomato fan. I like tomatoes. But do we finish with the bite of burger or do we finish with bacon? How many people go through a dilemma of what is your last bite? Like you measure out your food. I start to get panicky. Like, do I have enough to like, you know, give a little bacon on this piece of burger? Do I have another piece of lettuce to go with this cheese? It's a thing. What really annoys me is when I've got all of my food mapped out, which is usually like 20 bites ahead of time. And Rachel comes over and grabs something off of my plate. And I'm like, now... You have just screwed up my entire eating plan. Like I had it like bacon, burger, cheese, bacon, burger, cheese, and you just took a piece of bacon. That is definitely not something that I'm doing during this time when everyone is trapped in the house together because that is a declaration of war with Joe. Do not take his food when he has like portioned it out. I'm like a mad dog. The decision's been made. It's the burger. Burger for the win. Number seven. Bars. 
Now this is the Perfect Keto Salted Caramel Bar, but there are lots of bars that I really like. Like Keto Bars, those are awesome. Stoka Bars, Dang Bars, lots of bars. But that's our favorite. Number six, Zevia. Except for not that flavor. I love Zevia. So for years, I drank a lot of diet soda. Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Coke Zero. Last year during our Cut Down the KetoCon Challenge with Watch Autumn Keto, I switched over to drinking mostly Zevia. Every once in a blue moon, I will still have like a fountain soda of Diet Coke because that's what's available, but I've really fallen in love with Zevia, especially new, the new Aldi version, which is the same thing, just in an Aldi like branded can, but love this stuff. And this is, Rachel, a good flavor. No grape. So this is kind of weird. We're like in the pool on a Saturday in April. Like this never ever happens. This is not what my weekends normally look like. No, it is a positive side effect, I guess, from social distancing. If we're taking anything to be good. The only thing is this water is cold, at least cold for us. It's probably in the mid seventies. So usually we don't hit this pool until May. Cause uh, yeah, we're from Florida and I don't like cold water. But it's starting to get a little bit, you know, hotter outside. Yeah, it's been a little bit warm. So you may be wondering why is Rachel completely covered in a towel? Why am I wearing a t-shirt? Pale, uh, huh? because I'm pale. Well, I was gonna say because we're pale or, or at least you're pale, I'm not really pale, but I don't want to get sunburned. The other thing is- Sunburn in quarantine, not good. Well, for me, the other thing is still have an issue with all my fat rolls. Don't like showing it. Even if I'm home by myself and not on video, I'm going to wear a t-shirt in the pool. How many people like to wear a shirt in the pool or when they go to the beach or something like that? Just because they want to cover themselves up. Poor Tabitha. So Tabitha, a Labrador Retriever, purebred, will not come in the water. No. Because when we got her as a puppy, we brought her in the pool too early. Very gingerly. Yep. But she just did not like it from the get-go. So now she loves water. She likes to go play in the sprinklers. She likes a bath. She loves to jump in the bathtub. If you go turn on the shower to get the warm water to come out and leave the door open, she will go stand in the shower. She will like open up the door and go stand in the shower. Loves water. Will climb in the bathtub with you but will not come in the pool. It's still wild though, because no one has ever like been mischievous with her or like, you know, tried to fake her out or made her feel like she was, you know, we're gonna throw her in the pool. No. It's just that having to go in too early, I guess, she just does not like the pool, but she wants to be right next to us. She wants, so. Yeah, she gets very upset when we go in the pool this and so is, she'll lay like this. This is as close as she can get to us without actually being in the pool with us. Now the thing is it's probably a good thing that she doesn't go in the pool oh my gosh can you imagine she'd be wet and like stinky all the time years ago we had a golden retriever and we had an above ground pool could not keep that dog out of the. Above she loved pool. the pool so much she would run a circle around the pool and then jump over the five foot top to get in the pool and then swim around until you let her out yeah I did want to mention these chairs that we are sitting on. We got them at Costco. Uh, I forgot the name of it. What is that? Can you see that name up there? Is it Big Boy? I think it's Big Boy. Big Joe. Big Joe floats. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You were a Big Joe. And so they have these chairs. And then they also have like that little uh, dory like noodle thing that Anthony and I brought home the other day on the live stream. And they had like turtles and frogs and things. But the cool part is these things were all filled with like bean bags, like styrofoam bags, like you would have in a beanbag chair or something like that. So you can use them in the pool or you can take them out of the pool and use them just like in your living room. But what we like about them is they don't pop because having a pool year round, like all of these like rubber floats and everything, they pop all the time. But these are comfortable. What do you think, Rachel? I think they're super comfortable. I always have floaties. We usually get them at Christmas time, believe it or not, like after summer, the clearance. I just right. buy them up and then give them as Christmas presents because you can, you know, go in the virtually all year long here also the rubber ones when you have those inflatables they get like a mildew on them and so you have to throw them out after a while but these the whole cover actually will come off and you can throw it in the washing machine so i really really like that so look for them in costco if i can find the link on costco.com i'll put it down below aren't you so thankful for fur babies right now Love them. like we are going through so much hugging withdrawal but at least we have 
you know, Tabitha and the kitties to pet and hug and love on. We don't have to social distance from them. Is it time for a snack? Number five. Pork rinds. Pork rinds. So we got these in our keto crate for the month of April. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link. I don't know which way it is. I think it's over your head, over your head. Ooh, these look good. Let's try these. They smell very cheesy. What is your favorite flavor pork rind? What's yours? The maple bacon cracklins from Epic Foods. Who is walking who? She is walking me. She is so strong, you cannot red. control her. You got some sun. Serious, yo. Look at that sun. But my face, because I covered my face, still pale. So you can have like, this is what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. So right across the street from our house, there is a driving range, and we have burrowing owls. Look at this here. And they are completely taking over the whole area. They're like all over the place. Slowly, you won't be able to have a driving range here at all anymore. It's just gonna be owls. Wherever there's a square, it belongs to them now. Yeah. Hopefully they never actually come to our yard. Of course, every time that Caleb sees them, he's like, you know what, just give him the yard. So what's number four? Cheese. Cheese, glorious cheese. Any kind of cheese. These are like garlic cheese curds that I got from Aldi's. These are so good. Vampire fighters. Any kind of cheese though. I don't care if it's cheese sticks, cottage cheese, this kind of cheese, bread cheese, mozzarella cheese, oh, doesn't matter. Cheese. Any kind of cheese, definitely on the top 10 list of our favorite keto foods. What's number three? Gotta be chicken wings. Chicken wings, definitely in the top 10. Blue cheese or ranch? Gotta have blue cheese, our blue cheese. We'll put the recipe over my head this time. It's actually over my head for once. I hear a peacock. Let's go see if we can find the peacock. Oh, that's a good sight. Oh. I've brought number two. Oh. Eggs. Definitely eggs. We eat a lot of eggs. I'd say we eat close to a dozen a day. Sometimes yeah. more, sometimes a little less. And I like egg salad. I like deviled eggs. I like cooked eggs. I just don't like runny eggs. Runny eggs are good for you. What is your favorite way to eat eggs? That's what I want to know. What is everybody's favorite way to eat eggs? Let us know down in the comment section. I'm going with deviled. You're so hot. I look hot, right? I mean, red hot. Yeah, but you're gonna turn tan. I mean, yeah, right. That'll be uh, number one out of a million times. Okay, it's dinner time. Let's adjust the camera a little bit here. There we go. Okay, dinner, brisket. Actually, it's corned beef brisket. So we got brisket, a little bit of cabbage, not too much. And this is an ounce of, it's a jalapeno queso melt that I got when, um, Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, was that Lucky's was going out of business. Mm. So it's supposed to be like a melting cheese, but we just kind of eat it like this and it's really, really good. So, number one, brisket. Gotta be brisket. Well, I mean. Also, Corned beef is brisket, so brisket. Steak is up there. No, brisket. Prime rib. All beef, pretty much all beef. So anything beef. Anything from a cow. Mm-hmm. Anything from a cow? You heard her. No. Anything from a cow. Like a steak or hamburger. No, you said anything from a cow. I said anything from a cow. You said, uh-huh. Isn't that what I said? No. I said any. So that includes cow tongue. No. Oxtail. No. Liver. No? Not like lips and buttholes. <laughs> it's 9.30. Time to go finish up this vlog. You look like, I don't know what. Hot mess. <laughs> Your hair. Lobster. It's kind over. of funny. It's like, I don't know, reminds me of, I don't know, I want to say Bette Midler from one of those movies. I don't remember which movie You know, it is. when I was in um, school, they used to call me Little Orphan Annie. No, you don't look like Little Orphan Annie. Because my hair was like... But you are getting redder and redder by the moment, even though you're in the garage. Okay, so number 11, the bonus, the most important one. Keto Chow ice cream. Keto Chow <laughs> ice cream. So this is keto chow ice cream. It is, uh, I put a little bit too much ice in because we didn't have our normal ice. I had to pull it from the ice bag and I didn't measure it correctly because I know exactly 
with the ice cubes that are made with our freezer, I know exactly how much to put in. Because we do have a link for, we have a video on how to make keto chow ice cream in a blender, which is how we're doing it. I'm going to put this right here so don't shake the bed. Uh, but the thing about it is, is you have to have the perfect amount of ice and that's kind of like a trial and error thing. Yeah, then you get it down and it's Once like you perfect. get it down and it's perfect every single time. It's your ice groove. But I also, I've started adding um, a little bit of guar gum to give it a super thick texture, like a milkshake texture. And I did forget to put the guar gum in this. But this is still Rachel's favorite flavor, chocolate coffee. Try not to dump it all in the bed. Well, I don't have to worry about dumping it because guess what? It's empty? We are out oh, of chocolate no. toffee. There is no more chocolate toffee. You better order some. These containers, by the way, awesome for keto chow or almond flour or a Ritz for tall. My closet. The closet light is on and the door is on. We're a hot mess. That's my closet, so don't worry. We're a hot mess. So. Well, that is going to, you want me to put it this way? Sure. So that's going to be our full day of eating today. Look at the paper cutter dangling over the top of my head. Hey, we're a lived in house. What that's, do you want? That's right. <laughs> our decorating style is heavily lived in. Let us know down in the comments section what your favorite foods on keto are. Are they ground beef? Are they beef liver? Are they eggs? Are they bacon? Or maybe it's chicken hearts. Who knows? Everybody's list is going to be different. I'm curious what some of your top items are. Yeah, what's at the top of the list? What's at the top of the list? Top two. How's that? Yeah. Your top two keto foods. Oh, I got some sun too today. Look at that. But I will be completely tanned by tomorrow morning. So Swagger. top two keto foods down in the comment section. So please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye. Well, it took until my morning bike ride to find him, but here he is, the peacock we were hearing last night, displaying his social distancing stance. He's like, back up. Can't come closer to me than my feather line. Look how pretty. So beautiful.